This is Vienna, the world capital of music. It is here that the famous composers of the past met and changed the world. Hayden, Mozart, Brahms, Strauss, and of course, Beethoven. Although he wasn't born here, Beethoven did make Vienna his home. In fact, he lived in over 30 different apartments scattered throughout the entire city. Here, he wrote the majority of his compositions. And in 1827, he died here. In fact, many of these musical giants are buried in Vienna's main cemetery. Beethoven was born in 1770. His father wanted him to be like Mozart, but music did not come as easily for the young German. He struggled, and that struggle produced some of the world's most beloved music. In order to understand classical music and Beethoven's music in particular, it's important to know the different components and parts of classical music. So let's take a tour through Beethoven's most famous work. You've all heard it, his fifth symphony. And it goes something like this. A symphony is the orchestra's most recognized form. A symphony has a basic structure. Each symphony is usually performed in four acts, known as movements. Each movement does something a little different. Beethoven's fifth symphony starts with a very familiar four-note motif. The first movement is usually quick, in sonata form, which introduces the themes or the melodies of the piece. The second movement tends to be a slower meditation on the theme. The third movement is more dance-like, in a minuet or scherzo style which tends to be more playful. And the final movement tends to be quick and lively once again, expanding on the themes. Beethoven made symphonies, just like his predecessors, Haydn and Mozart. But things began to change in his mid-twenties. Beethoven was gradually losing his hearing. By the end of his life, he would be completely deaf. This had a tremendous effect on the composer, who at one time even contemplated suicide. I would have put an end to my life, he wrote in 1802, but it was only my art that held me back. Uh, it seemed to me impossible to leave the world until I had brought forth all that I felt was within me. So I endured this wretched existence.
Luckily for the world, Beethoven did not give up, and in the end, produced some of his most profound pieces of music, music that he would never hear. So, what's the big deal about Beethoven anyway? I mean, he only composed nine symphonies. Mozart composed 41. He penned only one opera, Mozart close to 20. So, why do we care? Why do we put up big statues to Ludwig von Beethoven? Well, that can be summed up in one simple word, revolution. Beethoven revolutionized the way music is played. In fact, he was constantly pushing the envelope. He bridged the gap between two musical eras, the classical music era of Mozart and the romantic period of Wagner, Strauss, and Mendelssohn. Beethoven's music ushered in the Romantic Age, an age of unbound emotion. Romanticism dominated the first half of the 19th century, and its ideas could be found not only in music, but also in painting, poetry, and literature. Artists began stressing feeling, intuition, and imagination. Take, for example, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. It was his final symphony, and in it, he placed something that no other composer had placed in a symphony before. He added a choral section. You see, Beethoven loved a piece of poetry called Ode to Joy by Schiller, and he always thought it would go great with music. So, he added it to his symphony complete with a choral section, and in the Ninth Symphony, that chorus section, Ode to Joy, ends the symphony in a grand finale. It was unique, and it was spectacular. When it played in Vienna, the ailing composer could not hear the clapping of the wildly enthusiastic audience. A young woman from the chorus gently turned the maestro around to see the ovation. Tears welled in his eyes. Beethoven's Ninth was a hit. Today, the symphony is important to many people. It was played when the Berlin Wall came crashing down and is today the official anthem of the European Union. Beethoven died on March 26, 1827, in typical dramatic style, according to the local legend. On that night, the clouds gathered over Vienna, the thunder crashed and the lightning flashed through the skies. And there, Beethoven in his deathbed after one loud crash of thunder, supposedly feebly raised his fist, shook it angrily at heaven. Then he closed his eyes and fell back down and died. His funeral was held in this church. Over 20,000 people attended. Beethoven transcended his physical limitations to produce some of the world's most beloved music. In doing so, he ushered in a new era, Romanticism.
in the end, Beethoven himself has become the model of a modern artist hero.